Okay, I know everyone just loves to say so, but we're doing it because I've got things to say. So we're, we're going to do it. We're going to take a look at Kingdom Optimus Primal. This is the modern version of the Beast Wars character and toy and in some ways it's very very good in other ways it has been done better let's just say that uh, let's let's just look at it to start with so it comes like this and it's the classic beast Optimus Primal thing where the legs are clearly just at the back here. You can't do too much about it. Like you can try and hide them a little bit, but they're they're right there. There's not much you can do about it. And that was part of the charm of the original toy. It was just like the legs are right there. Come on, guys. But not necessarily translating these days, considering how much effort they've gone for like this face. The face is very actual gorilla, not Beast Wars gorilla. It's one of those like they've got more realism than the actual cartoon. But at the same time, giant swords. These are a bugbear for me. These giant swords. They look like the cartoon, they're very nice, but there's no storage other than just these little slots for these big tabs on the side. You just tab them in. So they're always obvious. Let's put them over there. <clears throat> uh, the arms move quite a lot, but the... In and out on mine are really tight, and I don't know if you can see all the shiny there, but that's oil. I've I've oiled these, to try and make them not as tight, and uh, it ain't having it. This one is worse. Um, you got these. That I think of a transformation, but you also get a little bit of extra shoulder. But considering how tight the actual shoulders are and how loose these are, it just gets a bit annoying. Uh, the arm swivel, if you do that, you can suddenly see the, the robot mode. So that's not great. Um, it'd be better if they just put the swivel under the elbow. Just kept that locked and put the swivel there. But they didn't. Uh, there's wrist swivel, which is kind of tight. Might have to put a spot of oil on it. And the paint on the hand doesn't quite match the arm. Just a slight shade lighter. Hands open. Because they do. I'm not opposed to it, I'm just saying they do. I, I'm, I sound very negative in this review, and I probably will sound very negative. But this isn't bad. I'm not trying to say it's bad. But you'll, you'll see what I mean soon. Um... The chest's very nice and muscular and stuff like that, with really obvious gaps down the side, but it, it's fine. The head moves up and down, you can turn. It's a very nice head, but if you turn it, it's like, ooh, that's hollow. Ooh. I know there's an upgrade kit for this, but even that doesn't seem to do the job properly, so uh, not really that bothered about it, thank you. There's just, there's a lot of things... It's one of those things. It's like they designed this guy on a Friday. They got it in the morning, they had a lot of coffee, they started doing it, they were really enthusiastic, and then it got to about 3 o'clock, and they're like, should we just go home early? Uh, we'll, we'll. They're like, no, we've got to finish this video. Uh, it looks about done. Just submit the plans, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. And that's what they did. It's just... Uh, you know. So, size comparison. I have... Kingdom Dinobot. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Dinobot, because I couldn't be bothered transforming him. Um, and is this accurate scale? I don't, I don't know. I know he's supposed to be big for his size, but I, I don't know. And you know what else I've got for size comparison? You know what else I've got? Robot Masters Optimus Primal. And this is where things start. <clears throat> this, legs and all the rest of it, but these are basically smaller versions of the original toy. 
So I can let them go away with that. There's no super duper fancy transformation. It's just what it was. These are new, fangled, upgraded, super duper, blah, blah, blah. And they look about the same. You can still see everything about as well. Okay. These arms, if you swivel, oh, look. Oh, look, it's below the bicep. Now, I'll be honest with you, I painted this little bit here black. Originally, it would have been white. But at least swivel doesn't show any more of the arm. That's something. Uh, the head doesn't move, but at least there's no gaps. Uh, a couple of gaps here in the back compared to this one. But we'll, we'll get to that, because if you're going to complain about these, I'm going to complain about those. So let's not nitpick on this one. And the face, that's more cartoon accurate than this. And that ain't exactly cartoon accurate. This is more realistic. I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. So, should we transform this one? I suppose we should. Oh. You see, it's not a difficult transformation, I just don't enjoy doing it. Okay, so... Start what we mean to go on. We're going to lift this piece up. And in the middle here, see that little gap? That's the swivel. So we're going to swivel this round, and then this big tab here... I'm going to go into that little slot there. Fine. We're going to straighten the legs out. We're going to fold down the toe. We're going to fold up. Oh, no, no, no. These don't fold up. They only fold down. Sure. Okay. So we'll fold down the toe. I'm going to turn the waist around. Uh, you can, as an optional extra, I think it's part of the thing, untab the butt flap. There's a peg here. It goes into a hole there. I think that's so you can put an action stand, because that's a thing that people have to have all the time. Now, let me see this. The transformation, there's this tab here. that goes into a slot in there. That's to lock them into place for the beast mode. But I don't know what it's supposed to be for... Because there's like hinge there and there's a hinge in here. So is it supposed to go like that for the beast mode? Is that the beast mode light? I, I could have been doing it wrong. I don't know. And does that lock in for the robot mode? I don't know. There's also ever so slight swivel in the middle of the leg. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, the legs... Can swivel like that at the hip as well. Okay. This one, I thought was going to be tighter than that one. Alright, fine, okay. Bring the arms down, and before we mess with the shoulder pads and stuff like that, we're going to do the whole head gubbins. Yeah. So, I'm going to bring the shoulders out as far as they go, and then get this whole back section with the blue shouldery bits and pull, and it pulls the head out. Pull this out, turn... Nope, before we turn it around, we need to turn that. Bring the head up, turn it all the way around. Bring this around. Shove the head here. Come on, pull in. Close that up. Come on, go straight, play the game. Am I doing this wrong? Probably... What are you doing? What am I doing? There you go, that's better. And that should just close. Oh no, no, before we do that, we've got to flip this over and then close it all up. There you go. And now to finish the transformation, you basically just bring the shoulder pads up and force them until they click into, uh, click into place. Okay. And that is Kingdom Optimus Primal in his robot mode. He looks very pretty. If you, you put him there and you look at him, you go, that's very pretty.
In fact, not even from this angle. We have to go in like that angle. He's very pretty. That angle, you start seeing one of the problems. The biggest problem to a lot of people being this giant hole. Honestly, I think this whole neck swivelly gubbins is way more complicated than it needs to be. Someone's over-engineered this. And then when someone's like, okay, why'd you fix it? Like, oh yeah, but we're going home early today. Come on, it's Friday, let's go for a beer. And they didn't finish it. And that's how it feels. Um, but he does look very pretty. Don't get me wrong, he looks spectacular. There are just a few nitpicks with him I don't like. Even the back, he's not so bad. He hasn't got a huge kibble pack. I mean, there's this, but it's no worse than any other primals had. Uh, no jet pack. Slightly disappointing. Uh, you can still store the swords. You can't put them in... Yeah, there's no better storage. They're still on the outside. Oh, look. You can see underneath as well. Isn't that fun? It just... Shortcuts, it's, you know what I mean? It's just the certain bits about you, like really. I mean, let's let's talk about a couple of positives. This little hydraulic -y thing here, and the way it all hinges around and stuff. That's very well engineered. That's very pretty. It's pointless, but it's very pretty. Uh, the legs look. Gorgeous. I do love the style of the legs. I know he looked like that in the show. He do, he, they do love lovely. This looks very nice. This actual piece in the middle does look very nice. It's just everything around it. A little colour and stuff. It looks great, it does. The arms, you know, the detail, it's, it's all there. The head is basically picture perfect. I can't, can't say anything nicer about that. You know, anything better about the head. It is gorgeous. Just the the nitpicks ruin it. Unfortunately, it's very very good. The little bits you can just pick at it just ruined it. It's it's sad to say. Uh, so let's talk about. It. He's got the swords and they can go in his hands like that. Um, you think you've got to open them and close them? Blah blah blah. No, they just go into the little round shape carved in there. So the thing is. It's nice that you can do it, you know, for a monkey. Um, but it they're not needed for the actual grip. I'm a little bit disappointed about it. I wish they were. Um, in the Underneath the arm, there's that little square. And if you push that, this half hardly sticks out. And then you have to pull it out a little bit more. And he's got two of the weediest little pop guns ever. A little hinge on his arm. Look at the state of those. Come on, camera. Two of the weediest little guns I've ever seen in my life. And I imagine those might be those stupid effect parts. Accurate. Uh, accurate compatible. There we go. Do it again on this side. You can do it on both. That's a bonus, I guess. Come on. What about... Fold it and you go... Aha, I'm going to shoot... I'm going to shoot you straight ahead, but I'm not. I'm shooting over there. Just, uh... You think, okay, well, what did he come with in the show? He came with the swords, he came with the guns, he came with the shoulder cannons. Shoulder cannons, okay, let me just... How do I How do I get the shoulder can? Yeah, to do the shoulder cannons, you've got to open him up again. And then try and get... There's this little lip here. Try and use that to flip these out enough for you to be able to get your finger on them. And then wonder why you're bothered. Um, let me get to it. Oh, come on. Is that you got to take the head out and all this kind of stuff? And it's... Come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't go back in. There you go, gotcha. Sure. That all back in. Close it off. There are these giant shoulder cannons. Look how, look how awesome they are. Look. Look how terrifying they are, gosh. Bet you were worried if he pointed those at you. I mean, they might spray water up to at least six metres. They're really terrifying water pistols. They're not scary. They're not intimidating. They're tiny little things. They're not... I 
I think it's mainly the weapons. The weapons in this little chest bit that really let me down on this figure. Anything else I, I could probably allow him to get away with, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't work at all. <sighs> I'm not saying the figure's bad, I'm not. Just, come on guys. So, let's do a comparison, shall we? So we've got Kingdom Dinobot. Is this accurate scale? I think so, I think he was taller than Prime. Uh, Primal, sorry. Ugh. Don't insult Prime. Uh, I think he was taller than Primal, so I think this is probably accurate. Okay. And, because you know it's coming, Robot Masters, which, yes, I know is yellowed a bit, but I don't care. Still good. Now, Robot Masters is a deluxe, and it's not a very tall deluxe at that. So this probably isn't a huge Voyager, if I'm honest with you. But, let's compare. Shoulder pads, shoulder pads. These are probably more accurate to the show. These were more accurate to the original toy, because this is like a smaller version of. Chest panel. This looks more accurate to the show, but this doesn't have much of a gap and stuff around it. Legs. This looks better than this. I'll give them that. The legs look great. Arms. Okay, well, the, the bit at the bottom there I've already admitted to painting black, so you can't blame this. It's got a little Autobot symbol. That's cool. See that? This... I'm not sure this has got a maximal symbol on it. I assume it has, I just don't remember seeing it. But... Has he got the arm cans? I think he has. Give me one second to do something. Because this is something I've messed up. Give me one second. I should pause the video to do this, shouldn't I? I'm not going to, but I should. Come on. Why are you fighting me? No, you shouldn't be fighting me. You're showing up your grandson. Come on. Or nephew or whatever you want to call him. Why are you fighting me now? Oh, that's why. Right, okay. That should do it. There you go. Right. Uh, arm guns. Here's a little slide out. Okay, well, what are these big pals here? Okay, and both sides. Now this is deluxe, and it's a lot older. And it's not very big deluxe, as I said. So, the guns are about the same size. They're about the same size. These are a dull, kind of metallic blue, without any barrels. These have actually got holes in them, so they look like guns instead of, I don't know, Batteries. So I might have to give this one the arm guns. Even though they've got the big panels that fold up, which not a big fan of, fine. Okay. Uh shoulder cannons, his are pitiful. How are yours? Well, let's just bring this piece down a bit and fold that over the top and this over the top, and then we can fold this back up again. And he's got giant shoulder cannons. That's a bit more like it. That's 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 how you're talking. If you point those at someone, they're going to be in trouble. Even again, though, again, they kind of look a bit like water pistols or something. But they're a bit more intimidating. I mean, they're bigger than. That. Oh, come on. Um, swords. His were on his back. They're huge and they're more cartoon accurate. Don't get me wrong. Um, swords. Have you got swords? Have you got swords? You know what? You have got swords, and they store inside the gorilla. Granted, for that, they uh, made him a bit smaller, so I can't can't give him 100% props, but, you know, they tab into the hands, that's fine, okay. Do this, let's get that one out as well, okay. Put that into the hand. So, they're a bit weedy, they're a bit skinny, but they work, and they're there. I can't fault them. But you know one thing this has got that that doesn't? This has got a jetpack. See that there? Moulded in. 
It's literally just a piece of the bottom there. It's, you know, there's nothing fancy about it. But it's there. He hasn't got that. They could have moulded it into there. They could have moulded it into the back of this. They could have done anything they wanted. But they didn't. This has got a jetpack. So, all bells and whistles, this thing's better. Modern engineering, this is better. Fine, apart from this bit. And this is where my thing with the Kingdom line so far and a lot of these new figures like the Studio 86 and stuff like that is it's like they've just taken older figures and they've updated them. Don't get me started on Studio Series Blur again. But it's like they've got the old figures and they've just updated them to new ones. Uh, Earthrise Starscream is just the classics but upgraded. I'm not going near that. I'm not touching that figure. I do not just know. I'm not touching that figure or any of the repaints. So with this, all they had to do was upgrade that. That's all they had to do. Look at that, see how it's done, and just upgrade the articulation and stuff like that. That's all they had to do. I mean, this is only really a small version of the original. They could have just made a small Voyager, better articulated version of the original. And they didn't. Instead, they went for whatever that's supposed to be. So, am I upset with this? Do I dislike this? No, I don't. I don't dislike it. I just, I don't know what they were doing. Like these are pitiful. These are absolutely pitiful, and I, I never look at them. It's just there's no point having them. Let's just get rid of them before they offend me. Go in there. Go away. Let's never speak of you again. They're pitiful. They are absolutely pitiful. Um, the head is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I love the head. Um. These guns, they're weedy, but I can let them get away with it, kind of. But where they really fall down for me is... Come on. That on the gorilla. That really lets me down. Like, come on, guys, really? Really? You're just going to have a gorilla running around with giant swords glued to its back? Come on, guys. It's literally like they just knocked off early and just submitted what they'd done so far and just called it a day, you know? Like, even... I know it's really petty, but even the Gorilla Toes on the back, because this one has got the uh, little fake toes that fold out and the proper toes fold underneath, like the original Optimus Primal. But this, the Gorilla Toes are just hanging out there. It, little things, little things that just bother me, even if they just fold it up on the back. But they've only got one hinge, and it goes the other way. What's that for? What, what am I supposed to be folding this for? What does it need to fold for? The the gorilla mode's trying to get the legs lined up. It doesn't really want to do anything. So what, what do I need the toes to fold under for? If I had the toes fold up, I could get them into a more dynamic pose, but instead of just flat... Fo what, what's it for? And that's the thing, there's just so many things about this figure I don't understand. There's like choices that I just don't get. Now that being said, would I have the Nemesis version? Oh, please, yes. Just for the colours more than anything, just, ah. Oh. And if, if it's not a character I, I know, per se, I don't really care so much. But this is Optimus Primal, this is like the main guy from the series that you're supposed to know really well. You are not a graceful cat. You're supposed to know this guy. I really just can't let them slide. Anyway, this has been, turned into a bit of a rant, and I apologise about that, but let's just uh, put him there, and we'll put you over here. And, uh, yeah, let's just call it a day, shall we? Uh, I still need to do at least another video. So, yeah. I should be, really, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one, where I am badly upgraded from something a long, long time ago. I already am. Bye!